also pressure. You can see that she's, Alex is doing it, but they should take the two down here, Flame. He's going to have a lot of damage down on it. And again, apologies to sound not syncing up with the... You can hear the bullet time going off, and there it is. It's a little bit delayed, and it's now coming from your game, Joe. <laughs> so we are all over the show for the moment. Meanwhile, you can see the turret damage on towards Edward. Edward does survive, though, and he falls to back. And no, he's going to be sniped from long range. Captain Jack takes it. Meanwhile, in the top lane, we have, again, Flame and Darian pretty much going head-to-head, -head, uh, just bashing themselves against each other from that one. But the thing is, he's got that nice low here, Flame. We'll see if he can actually stay onto Darian. Uh, those reckless swings coming in as he gets lower. That attack speed coming up. There is Ragnarok popped as well. He's going to get help here from Diamond Prox, but can they stop him? Axe comes down. Darian is still managing to walk away. He's missed the second one here as Flame. But there is the reckless swing coming out. There is a loop. Lulu ulti onto Flame as well, and guess what, they are turning this one around, Diamond, the one now in trouble, here comes a Kaylee ultimate from across the other side, and Diamond will fall in the end to Lost Boy, absolutely ridiculous from the Zulu play. If you remember back to IEM Cologne, you remember Reaper had went 1908, and that was still in season two. The Koreans know how to play that top lane, Olaf for Joe, but they're going in for it. Yeah, this is bad, bad news for Gambit. Oh, the reset. Gambit gets himself the double kill. There's another jump. Oh, There's no, no, the no. Can he take down Diamond Prox as well? Yes, no, no Penta. But he doesn't get the Penta because Olaf steals it away. Either way, it's an ace for a zoo boo. Well, that will be the dragon picked up and oh, secured. There arrow. is the Ash Arrow coming down as well from Captain Jack. Just catch on towards Macla and you can see Livet's going to use it. The absolute zero crescendo comes out. Is it enough? Here comes Shara coming around the side once again. He just makes the turn up towards Captain Jack. Lost Boy's going to get dropped as well. It's a double kill for the home team. Meanwhile, of course, that top lane, though, no, but that is going to be the dragon. For Meteor Makers, top two is going to get some damage from Helios, but not a great deal. They're picking on towards this mid lane, Joe. They're going to go for it. Yeah, it looks like they are. We're actually going to get them in the back. Captain Jack going to oh, take a lot of damage. Oh, it didn't actually land there. The ultimate from the counter not being successful. There's a crescendo from the back side. Flame's going to get in. That's two kills. Living going to throw uh, absolute zero down. That's not enough for him to really uh, do much damage. Kubot now the focus of the attack. Double kill for Jen. Here comes Ambition. Gets the stun down. Gets the wild cards in. And that is four kills for nothing for a Zubu play. Good survive on Pops Kitty. Nice blast poke on Edward, keeping him at bay. Keeping him away from top and elements. Darian's roaming down mid. He didn't get seen by wards either. Here he comes. He manages to stealth his way in there onto Cop. Pops the ultimate. The cleanse is going to go off, but Lulu will immediately follow it up and just gets destroyed. They should be out of time towards elements as well. They're going to finish him off. It's a double there. It's actually Edward that picks up the kill. Put him back, it's Darian, he's going to head towards immediate paranoia, he comes in from St. Vicious, the fear though, flash straight out of it, and now Genji's going to be the target, Voidboy should be able to finish this one off, flashes out of the ultimate, Voidboy's going to try and follow on through, does pick up one, can he get him towards Darian now, he isn't going to die. Kills yet, they're really trying to get this turret back, if oh, they can get turret oh my god! Just absolutely obliterated there, Rook's killed him nicely, and Cop picks up the kill, and now you can see that turret just getting chunked straight down, I think the thing is going to be too long in this world, Cop's going to get in, one more shot, there it is, enough to take him down, they're going to go in towards Genja now, Genja turns the target, and that's going to be a flash prison straight away, they are just going to destroy him where he stands, Genja, I'm not too sure why. Gonna try and put the pressure on this turret. This turret will be gone, but Voidboy is gonna come straight in. Question is, will it be close Here enough? Fight? It's gonna be the paranoid one towards Diamond. Diamond's the target, and St. Vicious is taking a lot of damage. Here comes Voidboy. Voidboy should be able to get the damage down. He's gonna try and chase on towards it. Edward has to use the ultimate on himself. The wild grope, he flashes away. Now which target they're going towards? St. Vicious getting taken down very low. Alex is in trouble here. He's been separated. Meanwhile, at the top here, you can see Voidboy. Voidboy claps it on towards two of the Pops' ultimate. Rooks has taken out Alex. He's now should be Diamond props going down. Boy one more hit, there it is, takes him straight down, picks up the double kill, three for zero, great exchange for Kurt. Just a harassment all coming down from Cobb. That's what you see a lot of Caitlyn's do roundabouts at this spot. St. Fish is waiting in the brush, there goes Darian. Goes straight in towards it, St. Fish does get caught out, you can see Darian not really catching him towards any Diamond Prox second now, very low, Diamond Prox got hot there, but Darian with the ultimate gets exhausted straight away, the bullet time is going to hit across, he manages to take down St. Vincent, but Rooks picks up another one, that's going to be Boy Boy, going to get dropped, no, Alex Inch is going to turn on one, gets another, but it's a double kill for Rooks, and now Edward, the last one standing, he's going to run away, but Rooks should be able to catch a prison on him, that will be Edward going down, that's a triple kill, and that is the ace for Curse. No one got...
Oh, the Creep Wave has come in. They want to try and get that cleared out. It is the Siege Minion Creep Wave as well. Hitoon, here he goes. Comes around level two, straight towards Hitoon. He's going to be able to deceive through. Pops another box, so he's not going to be able to escape this one either because the box is going to prop. There's Teleport coming in as well. Ocelot's going to join the party. He does manage to get first blood hit too, though. Ocelot, can he finish it off? He gets the slowdown. Is he going to enough? The tower takes down Dota as well. And oh, they go and get the kill. That has backfired horrendously for SK Gaming. Every pop, are they going to go? Well, that's the sh <laughs> they're not sure themselves. Why would they pop Reverie? They pop Reverie. Timex obviously like, we're going to go for this one. Actually, it was Trousy that used the Reverie. But they didn't go for it, and now here it comes. That's why they backed off. Pantheon comes diving in. He went for Candy Panda, but the Crescendo hits the entire team. And then the True Shot Mirage flashes through. SK Gaming successfully disengaged the pounce on towards Kenny. On the other side, we've got Fnatic doing Dragon currently. I'm not sure that they can finish it off, though, and all that is going to come in here. And it is going to be Fnatic who pick up Dragon. Nick is actually pretty low. Cyanide as well. There's the ult coming out of Oriana. It's a kill for all that. There's Oriana with the second, and now Peke could be in trouble. He will lock in, shifting, gets the kill. Axe misses out of Trouty. Can he catch up? There is the reckless swing. One point. Oh. <laughs> True shot by Ron, trying to come out there right at the end. What like? Two giant creep waves coming straight in. Oh, they're going to go on towards Peke. Can they catch him out? The rupture does manage to keep him there. Also, I guess, oh, beautiful. Cyanide came in to try and defend it, and he went headlong straight into the in SK with four men sieging this outer middle turret just as we thought would end up happening. The rupture doesn't quite do the, uh, get the knock up there onto Zyra and here comes the ultimate out of Zyra. Nip knocks in the air. Tower hit's gonna come in. Peke will actually pick up the kill there. Is it Oh, that's real, sorry. As uh, on the right next to Soaz here. The knock up is oh, actually beautiful. gonna catch him just in time. Soaz is not escaping this one. Or is he escaping this one? Oh! oh. Wow, what a dodge from Soaz. And he, again, somehow picks up a kill on Peke. So has having to use his ultimate, trying to avoid the damage. Tries to go invisible. Can he juke this one out? I don't think he can. Oh, he has managed to leap away. Can he juke any further? He's got to get past the turret. He's going to take two hits from that turret. He realizes it. Comes around. Gets back on to Ocelot. But he's going to be hurting him on this. Actually, just turning around, going back up towards that base of region that they get from that Baron buff, certainly helping them out with that one. Peke not quite being knocked up. Here comes the home guard. Ramus rolling in there. Also, he's taunted. He goes down. Kevin's not very healthy. Sinai taking a lot of damage, but Soaz jumps in the middle. Ooh. Candy Panda is low. Can they finish him up? Yes, yeah, flash it from Yellowstar. Can they get any more? Peke will come in as well. Herky will be chased down. Not sure that Nif will be able to escape this one. One more auto attack or a filter where Peacemaker will do it. And that is three kills for one for Fnatic. So we talked about, well, they helped just keeping them delayed. They've got two in inhibitors down, and they're just going to pile straight up towards those super minions in the base. You can see there's coming in there. Peke okay, definitely up towards the Nexus. Kevin is going to be able to go and go to He's trying to do it, but meanwhile, they're in the base. Yellow Star's trying to defend them in the base. Peke is trying to take the Nexus down. Is anyone going to be able to deal with this one? Catches him with another axe. He's very low. Oh, no! can just go anywhere. They don't have vision on him. Botlane has to be careful. Herkbot has to be careful. There's the TF off. Is he going? Yeah, he is going. It's down towards his bottom lane as Nif taking a lot of damage, but Rapid oh. Solo. Wung is going to take down Nif, though. That's the uh, move that they were looking for. Well, here comes the teleport. Ocelot coming down. Curse of the Sad Mummy goes in onto Wung. He will cleanse out of that, but that won't be enough to keep him alive. But he does pick up the kill there right at the very end. Spear straight to the face, but the dragon is what it's probably going to cost. The Nif won't be able to hold this one off unless they can get a steal. Yes, nice ultimate. Brilliant. Super, I guess, you know, they, knowing that they've not really got 100%, that's a fantastic route coming out of Beautiful. Nif right onto Rapid Star's position. Eat by SK. Will we see a fight this time from Azubu Frost? There's the flash. Here we go, they are going to push in. Here comes Stan United, tries right in the middle. Zyra ulti goes down, doesn't do too much. There is a crescendo oh. from the side. Here comes Switz and Fate, Curse of the Sad Mommy goes down. The targeting's a little bit all over the place here. Candy Panda will be forced, take him down there. There's a kill back for Ocelot. 
And Kazix, of course, did fall in that one as well. Can they turn this around and push Azubu back, uh, back in this one? It was a two-point in favor of SK. Bandage Shot's gonna land onto Woom. And then we will see Cloud Zep actually just taunting them away. Herkubot going low. He will go down to Woom. Ocelot is falling low as well. Can he escape from this one? There is the power cord coming out and the finisher from Mad Life. And again, it turns it around. And Nip is not safe just yet. He will get taunted down. Woom picks up another one. And that is a four for two. Oh man. Shen, who's pushing straight through in towards this inhibitory ultimate, is going to come across. Uh, Shen is already on his way out. Here comes the crescendo. Bullet time. Curse of the sad mummy. Not going to be enough to stop them. There's two kills coming down. Twisted Fate going to join the party from the top. Ocelot got no chance of escaping. There's the slow card coming out. They switch their focus onto Kevin. That's a triple kill coming out of Wu. Out here by Lost Boy. This is going to be one of those games as the TFL comes in. Stun Cop going down, there's the Wild Cards coming out as well. Can Flame escape? He is, of course, above level 6, but he's going to get trapped down. Another Stun oh. Card comes down. He comes oh. to the moon, but an amazing level to the Wolfsman. He's going to keep playing. So he wasn't able to shut down their split pushing. Now he's got his ultimate flash in. They're going for it here. Here comes Peck Extra as well as Helios. They do manage to take down Helios. Can they turn it on to it himself? No, they don't manage to get the Stun Cop. Peck Extra is trying to decides to contest, Soaz would not be able to join. He's way behind the Spider Queen coming down there. Helios starting on. They would want to gauge as well. They have all the AoE. This is the fight Azuki's trying to force. Half HP, you're on Dragon Egg from the Ooh. Spear Ambition. Gonna be knocked down low, but that Dragon is gonna be taken out. There's the ultimate, oh. and the Spear as well! Oh, the timing! Amazing from Fnatic. Maybe they can turn something around off this, but expected going back, unfortunately, the ward. And then Sinai trying to make something happen with this might still really hurt them. Well, so as is going to get oh, caught no. out, curse of the sad mommy on towards him, he immediately gets pinned off. We've seen him make some amazing escapes. Can he be oh, The heel wow. comes out. He tries to load steal it away, and he gets it. He got the ball. And so, oh, that spear on to Captain Jack. Insane, like full range spear. So much damage coming out of XPK right now. Right now. See there, got that Void Stamp on in the end. Kazix got himself that last Whisper to add it to everything. Evelyn's actually in the top lane right now, and we are going to see them pushing straight through onto this story. They keep landing the Spears, and they can't hold this. You saw Ambition up top because he knew he wasn't useful without his ultimate, but they keep getting wow. hit with these x Pepe Spears, and they are getting destroyed. This turn is not long. Oh! oh my word! Pepe from downtown, dumped the Spears, and the Inhibitor is going to go down for now. A little strange that Alex each rushed the home guard route so soon. It's really going to diminish his team fight power in this next situation. A lot of times he'd have a lot more AD. If he didn't go all the way for home guard, he might have a BF sword. And oh, oh, my bad life. The hook for Darian now, and he's in all sorts of trouble. He's not going to be able to get out of this one, but he pops his ultimate. He's hanging on in there. Crescendo comes in. Alex is jumped through. Cloud Templar follows through up towards him with the bandage toss there. And the gambit, well, they're just going to have to back away. Turn up on towards Cloud Templar. Rapid Star, though, is in there on towards Dino Prop. Rapid Star now very low. They're going to try and leap around again. Just going to get dropped as well. It's a dump kill for Shy. And they're going to continue on. The glue goes down on towards Edward. Alex is leaps out of the way. They just managed to catch him, but Edward is going to be the next target for Shy. He's going to get flung through, and it's Woom that picks up the kill. It's a four for one trade. And he, uh, he is a monster right now. We're only 20 minutes in, and he's got nearly 3,000 health, and in that fight had 200 armor with his ult running on top of himself. There's just no armor penetration coming in from Gambit yet, so he is pretty much unkillable. Oh, there is Alex coming in. He's managed to get the steal as well, and it was with the one single so quickly, Cloud Temple now the focus on that one. We are going to see Alex Inch come in. He's got the reset. He's going to jump over, get the slow across all three. Alex going low. He was exhausted and then not even finished off by that one. Graves goes down. Madlife pulls Darian in towards the turret. He's going to walk away with hardly anything. Madlife doing a lot of the same. Gendra actually tanking the turret up there, but Shy isn't able to get around to finish off. Great fight for M5. And Gabby. that was just an example. Dive towards Cloud Temple, they're going to try and force him, see if he can go for that 
Chris to the side, Mommy instead. You can see Darian and the Trump shot for us. Oh, very nice. He hits everyone. Rapid starts taking down very low. Alex seems to go too, too deep. He does get dropped down, but Kent is now in the blood fight. But Azubu for us turning this one to very nice. He rapid starts going down on towards Shai. Shai is very tanky. Good work just off the side. He's picking them off as much as he can. You can see Shai on towards Kent. Kent is trying to go, but he's in the poison trail. He's going to get dropped down by the poison enemy. Anyway. No, good work comes in. Good work taken down very low. He gets dropped. Now Shai's the target. Situations is they basically fish for hooks. They wait for Madlife to start the perfect fight for them, but Gambit's not going to let that happen as they go in. Diamond does go in there. Where's the crescendo? They need it out here. There is the crescendo. Curse of the Sun Mummy actually came around. Edward is starting to fall low. There, the Rando is popping left, right, and center. Darian right in on top of them as well. The both teams fairly low HP as Alex Hitch is going to join the fight. There he is. Gets the shutdown. Can he finish up Class Temper as well? Yes, he will. He's going to jump over the wall. He's going to oh. come in. Absolutely blows him up. Hop away, triple kill, Edward Major's fall, yes he will, but uh, Rapid is gonna get himself away from that, but that is a blue one. Returning to base if they manage to pull off a good team fight, um, just to cover all that kind of stuff. But their wards put down as well by Azubu. Oh, Gambit are gonna go for it. Yes, they are. They're jumping in there. Curse of the Sad Mommy used very early. Alex is just gonna get flipped around, but the damage not really targeted. A crescendo hits the entire Azubu Rock team. Beautiful from Edward there. Now the damage comes out. Shy is taken down very low. The Rock is running through. Rapid Star is gonna try coming out. It's gonna get Steve Top. That's gonna be Cloud Templar taken down as well. Good work gets dropped by Genja. They grab jump on one Rapid Star. One turnaround hit could be enough between the two. He's got Guardian Angel. Now that two kills coming out, Edward actually falling fairly low. Woom has managed to survive along with Sins, but maybe not for long as Genja goes in there. And here comes Alex from the side. Genja going low, but he's got the Guardian Angel and finishes it off with one final kill. They're coming in big here. They're coming around the back side and you can see Cloud Templar is going in for. There's a teleport coming in as well. Alex, this is going to join the party on towards Shai. Shai's taking down very low. They're both good. They could get a double kill here. They're coming towards it. They will. And it's Alex to pick up the kill. Gage is taking down very low. And wow. So, my boy kind of out of sorts at the moment and Gage just putting a damage down on him. He could try and follow through on this one. He will. He's going to arc you through. Manage your pop. He's going to get crushed, but it doesn't matter because Gage is so he needs a few hits, but the problem is Rapid Star is just going to wipe out that creep wave as soon as they come in there. Somebody somewhere needs to take the balls and get in and take a hit on it. And slowly but surely, here we go again, just going to try and poke it in there. Immediately, wall goes down, Rapid Star puts the ultimate down, catches everyone out. They're going in though, it's going to be a diamond towards Madlock. Gen just definitely taking the turret down, he gets it down. Rapid Star gets taken down, so Madlock gets dropped as well. They're going to diamond towards it. They can't catch up towards Cloud Templar. One more hit will be it. Darian takes it down. Darian's going to go towards Rapid Star. Rapid Star, Ed Edward's going to take the tower damage. Dark Frost dives in. It's obliteration there for Azumu Frost. And Gen just so, so strong. Just Zuba, they want another go, they've all healed up. Look at Templar, he's the big tank in the team and he's just been absolutely destroyed. Boom, the next focus, he goes down, killed for Alex Ditch there. Mad Life now the next target. Darion gonna destroy him along with Diamond. Rapid stuck now, last man left alive. He is gonna fall down, double kill in the end there for Genja and Gambi Gaming are going to... To be honest, the way that he's played today, this aggressive style has really helped um, Gambit out. And I think a lot of it has to do with him playing Ezreal so much in these circumstances because he can be just as aggressive but still defensive as the teleport comes in. Well, Ambition teleports it in. He's going to have to flush and try and drive something in. It's going to be good. Edward, they go for back. Look at Genja turning the aggression towards Ambition. The Ignite going down. Now he's on towards Captain Jack. Here comes Diamond Props around the side. They're going to get on towards Captain Jack. It's going to be first blood. Captain Jack goes down. Alex is coming around the side now. He's going to push away. They're going to go in towards Ambition. Everything comes around. Now he's trying to pull the down. They don't ditch the turn right now, they're gonna get double killed. Here we go then, this is bad news, Ultimate comes down, there's the first one, Captain Jack low, Captain Jack dead, a double kill for Edward, 3-0. And lead turrets in their favor as well. And even though there's so many positive things going for Gamma Gaming, as they die, Captain Jack. Flash through there, Stan United comes out, but Genja might be able to take you down, yes he will. Now you can see Alex is, he's gonna try and get away from this one, Shadow Dash, is it gonna be enough? No, it is not. 
still over the top lane, where he's going very deep in the top lane there. Darian might get caught out, Captain Jackson sort of trouble down the bottom. Darian though couldn't get taken down here, Azumu should finish him off, he's gonna slice and dice his way through, and make the escape him in the middle lane. The red buff, here we go. Helios is coming round. Diamond is sat though, and you can see they are spotting them out here. The rest of the team gonna collapse around. It goes all towards the bottom here. We're gonna see Captain Jack coming in. They're gonna dive in. His blood's gonna get taken out. First one cut, come out. Yes, he will. And Shin's out picking it up. Diamond from there's this return kill. Helios taking down Edward. Now they're gonna flash through on towards Captain Jack. Two flashes coming through. Get your arc and shift through. He picks up the kill. It's Ali Sitch, and they return to lane. It's a 2 1. Goes through no GP10 items and pink wards early. Doesn't even care about the side stone. They're trying to win early with pressure, and thus far it's working great. There is Edward. You can see him causing problems. He might get picked out though. He goes very aggressive in towards Lost Boy. Alex tries to follow him. He's going to get condemned oh. straight away. Crescendo from Lost Boy. This is backfired, and Edward's going to go down. It's a double kill for Helios now. Darian thought about trying to. And they're up 5,000 gold, that is Gambit Gaming, but I feel like they're letting this game slip away. They're trying to engage up top, though. Here we go, Darren's gonna get the knock up there on towards Lost Boy. We'll use the ultimate as well, but can they follow in with this one? There it goes, the ultimate out of Escher, but can they catch in there? We've got Tariq and Ryze coming around the side. Vayne actually flashes away. Use Cleanse in there as well. Flash from Flame. They're gonna turn it around, taking down Helios there, and they're gonna keep pushing. Can they get any more from this? Flash over the top, and that is bad, bad time for ambition. He's used his ultimate. Slows Alex Sitch. Are they going to be able to catch him? Yes, with a flash. Here comes Stan United though. Is it going to be in time? Yes, just about. But Genja isn't finished just yet. He's splitting up. He needs one more auto attack here. Onto Ambition. Can they get around? Zinchao is going to catch him. Diamond gets the 